Hey, horror fans, once again, it is me, the Horror Miser. My name is time to review the latest entry into the Children of the Corn series. Yes, it is Children of the Corn. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Now, Children of the Corn is a 2020 American supernatural slasher film. It was written and directed by Kurt Wimmer. It is based on the 1977 short story of the same name by Stephen King. Now, the film stars Elena Camporis, Kate Moyer, Callan Mulvery, and Bruce Spence. Now, this film describes the events leading up to and including the massacres of, of adults in a small Nebraska town by their children after the adults' irresponsibility ruins the crop and the children's future. God damn it, those damn adults always get in the way. You know, when it comes to horror franchises, horror fans, perhaps one of the more interesting and less talked about ones is the Children of the Corn film series. Now, the series, uh, based upon the 1977 short story of the same name by Stephen King, it really started in 94, and the basic premise is a group of children who worship a demonic entity called He Who Walks Behind the Rose kill all the adults in a small farming town in Nebraska after a field corn crop. Now, while the movie was panned by most critics, and it only made $14.6 million at the box office, it did become kind of a cult classic among some horror fans. As a matter of fact, my good friends Jen and Christian from Jen's Reviews and the Graves, they actually did a whole, uh, reviews, reviewed the whole series, I think, a couple years ago. <laughs> if you want to know anything about the Children of the Corn series, you should watch their channel. Now, after a sequel was released in 1993, uh, the next several films in this series, the franchise, really had nothing to do at all with King's short story. Just, you know, a bunch of random films, kind of, it were all released, you know, the videos, had some familiarity with the basic plot, anything and anything had to do uh, with the main story, but there was really no, nothing other than just, hey, let's make another Children of the Corn film. Uh, film. Now, a remake of the original 1984 film was made in 2009, and that aired on the Sci-Fi Channel. However, that film was panned by both critics and horror fans. No one liked that 2009 version. And now, here we have American film director, writer Kurt Remery. He brings us his entry, I believe the 11th film in the franchise, once again called Children of the Corn. Now, based in the fictional town of Ryland, Nebraska, we see that the town is dying due to the soil of the corn crops that went bad. Oh, no, here we go again. Now, after the adults decide to destroy the crops and sell the land to developers in order to save the town, the children, led by a 12-year-old girl named Eden Edwards, captures m most of the adults and punishing them and will eventually sacrifice them to a demonic entity who is simply called He Who Walks. Now, can 18-year-old Bolin Bo Williams get the other teenagers together and stop Eden's path of evil? Oh, well, that's kind of what the film is about. Well, you do have to get Kurt Wimmer some credit for trying something different as he takes a deep dive into the town's blight and the reason why the soil went bad. We really don't see that in any of the films in the series. We really didn't see that in the original and the remake. We just see the aftermath of it. But in this one, we actually get a deep dive into what happened to the town. No, like, now, I really have nothing wrong with using a girl as the main villain of the story, as I believe all the films has a boy as the main antagonist. You know, they even brought back actor John Franklin, who played Isaac in the original 1984 film, in the 1999 sequel. He plays Isaac again, and we have a different type of different type of events of what, what take place as far as the original film and the 1999 sequel. I never saw it, but he's in it. Uh, Unfortunately, child actress Kate Moyer is the only good thing about this film, and I think she does a pretty good job of being violent and merciless towards the adults and anyone else who gets in their way in this film. I mean, there is no real character development, so when the children do attack, we really don't care what's happening to the adults, no matter how brutal the attacks are, and some of the attacks are brutal. That same thing goes to Bo, played by actress Elena Camporis. I mean, she tries her best to make the audience care about her, but she's hampered by Wormer's awful script. I mean, she plunkons up as caring, she cares about the town, she cares what's happening to her parents, despite all the negativity that's going on in, in the 
the film and what's happening to the town. But unfortunately, as try as she does, there's nothing she can do in order to bring any type of energy to the script. You know, it's just dull and lackluster. I mean, another problem here is the terrible CGI, especially when it comes to he who walks. Yes, not he who walks behind the rose, as we've seen in all the other films. It's just he who walks, as the entity looks like a very bad version of Root from Galaxy <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. For a minute there, I actually thought he was going to say, I am evil Groot. <laughs> you know, despite his best efforts, Wimmer, he did, Wimmer brings us another lackluster and dull entry to the franchise that has nothing but dull and lackluster films throughout. I've, I would say, other than kind of the original and maybe the sequel, this this series is just as bad as the Amityville film series. Dull, lackluster, really hasn't done anything to generate any type of buzz. Maybe some of the films are okay. Maybe some of them are. Maybe there might be some good. But as far as the films I've seen in this film, they're just eh. I mean, I'm sure the COVID-19 pandemic didn't help matters as the film was made in 2020. And I believe it did get some release in some of the film festivals here. But it wasn't released until March of this year. And it's now airing on the streaming services Shutter. But then again, this is just another terrible film that really doesn't have anything new. I mean, other than changing the antagonist from a boy to a girl. Or it doesn't try to do anything different in order to make it stand out from the others. I mean, I like the fact that he did try to do something different, you know, give a more deep dive into the uh, backgrounds of the towns. I mean, he even tried to do something different in the beginning of the film, but that goes anywhere. I mean, it just simply goes nowhere. Just a very, very bad attempt here. So I'm going to give Children of the Corn 2023 only one of uh, my Five bloody gold coins. You're only going to get one. Yeah, you might expect to see this on my uh, top five worst horror films of the year. Yes, because this was bad. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. That's my video for today. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, like, and share because it does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Have you seen Children of the Corn 2023? Leave your comments in the comment section below and tell me what you thought about the film. Also, if you're new here, please hit that subscriber button. Ring that notification bell. That way you'll be notified anytime when I put a new video such as this one. Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as a horror miser, money G. And always remember that horror rules. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Y'all guys stay safe out there.